Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. This is on Perl scripting. In this session, we are going to talk about functions and subroutines. Let us take a simple example. The subroutines and functions are used for modularity within programming. You need modularity for easy maintenance of any code. If you look here, I have a print statement. I am in the main code. I have another subroutine. This starts with the keyword sub, then the subroutine name, then I am making a print statement. I am in subroutine. Then once it is called, I am back in the main. To call the subroutines to make it different, you are using this ampersand sign. Now let us execute this. So you define the subroutine as a regular C function or something like that with curly braces with the keyword sub and then the name. Right now the subroutine does not have any parameters. Let us execute it. This is p5.pl pl p5.pl Now it was initially it was in main code then it went to the subroutine then it came back to the subroutine after came back to the main after executing the subroutine code. Now I am going to make a little bit modification to this in terms of passing parameters. For example, I want to pass two parameters uh, dollar $x, dollar $y. Okay? Let me define those things. My dollar $x, sorry, dollar $y. Now, I'm going to say dollar $x equal to 5, dollar $y equal to 10. So, I'm initializing these two variables. Now, I'm passing these two. Once you pass this, you don't define the parameters over here. There is a way to describe the parameters inside the subroutine. Uh, to define the parameters inside the subroutine, you need to use a keyword local. Okay. Now, I am trying to pass two parameters. The way I have coded now is I am getting the inputs from the user for X and Y rather than hard coding inside the script. Now, I am passing these two parameters. Inside the functions, at the function name, you don't declare the parameters, whereas inside, you use the keyword local. You give the parameters list within regular brackets, and then use this at underscore. They treat the parameters as an array. The moment you say at underscore, this is an array of parameters within this subroutine. So, if you say at underscore within square bracket 0, it will be the first parameter. At underscore within square parameter 1, it will be second parameter. So, instead, if you want to have all the parameters in one shot to be initialized, all you need to do is local the list of parameters you want and then say at underscore. Now, I am entering the subroutine. I am making a comparison. I am making a printing. If P1 is greater than P2, it is greater, else less. Then I am exiting the subroutine. Now let us execute. So I will test this by giving P1 greater than P2 as well as P1 less than P2. Let us see whether the parameters are properly getting passed to the subroutine. Let us go back to this. Execute. Now it is asking give two values for X and Y. I give 5 and 6. It was in the main code. It went to the subroutine. It was entering the subroutine. 5 was less than 6. It was exiting the subroutine. It came back to the main code. Let me execute it again. This time, I am giving 8 and the next number 3. So, 8 is greater than 3. So, it is in the main code. It entered the subroutine. It said 8 is greater than... We passed these two parameters. We gave the values to x and y. Those x and y values were passed to parameter p1 and p2. P1 was greater than P2, so it was printing the message greater. It was exiting. It came back to the main functions. So this is how the subroutine passing the parameters do work. If you use this keyword local, these two parameters are having the scope, local scope within this subroutine. I hope this is clear. Functions are nothing but a slight modification from this. So we will talk about the functions now. Okay, functions are nothing but subroutines 
that return values back to the caller. Right now I have got three variables $x, $y and $z. I get the values from the users for $x and $y. Then I declared a subroutine called a sum. I pass those two parameters. You don't use the keyword function, you use the same keyword sub. But look at here. All the syntax for a subroutine and functions are same except I do have a return statement. Return the first parameter plus the second parameter. So I return back the sum of the two parameters I return. But if you look at this, when you say return, it comes back to the caller. Okay? And whatever value it returns, that gets assigned to this variable on the left hand side and I am printing that value. Okay? Now I go and then execute this again. It is asking two values. I am giving six and eight. It was in the main code. It went to the subroutine. It came back to the sub, uh, main code. It is printing the value is 8 plus 6, 14. If you notice one thing, I made a print statement exiting subroutine, but that appeared after the return statement. The moment it sees the return statement, the control goes back to the main code. So this code is a dead code. This will never get executed. Anything after the return statement may not get, will not get executed. So if you see, it was here, it was printing this, then it came here, it returned back, it never went to this portion, the print exiting subroutine, it never went there, it came back here, it came back here. That is why you see, it was in main code, entered the subroutine, it returned the value, that return value is 14. So if you want to convert a subroutine to a function, very simple, have a return statement. I hope the subroutines and functions with parameters are clear to you. Thank you.